Warning. The following video includes characters hitting for millions of damage using sh** you don't have. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for being afraid. Thank you for being Hey everybody, Goldie here, and we are running it back with Stephanie McMahon. Welcome to the Queendom, taking a look at her new move. We have done the free-to-play build um, with Double Woods training Santa Hogan, and then we swapped between Zombie Gunther and Seamus just to show what it looks like regarding who, you, uh, depending on who you have. We are now going to take a look at her with the top-end stuff. It's going to be nuts. I did very meticulous testing. I tried a whole lot of different combinations, and this was the one I found to be the most fruitful, even with Sherry not giving the times four. I don't have enough star frags. Please send me striker star fragments. Um, but we are doing Carmelo Hayes for purple and black MP. Sherry is going to increase the multiply gem strength by free, by free, by three. Memrock is going to increase them by one. And then Zombie Gunther was the winner in terms of damage output over Seamus and Santa. 30% to the blue, 60% to the multiply, which really means 90% to the blue. Uh, da, 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 18. That's lower than last time. Sure is. Uh, but wait. Whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your blue gem strength and damage by 50% for two turns. Uh, we are not trying to recycle here. We are trying to do buttloads of damage. She turned at the right time when I said that. Uh, but this should be this should be pretty decent. I'm not going to say what I hit in my testing because I want to see if if we hit the same thing. So let's let's rock and roll. All right, 39. Sounds good. So both of these loaded, turn one. We don't have to worry about using a plate to try to get these out twice. All we need to worry about is a cascade. It's 46, 387. Put those over there somewhere. That is very fortuitous. Uh, so 53... 436. And that that looped real nice. This might be this might be higher. And we criticaled on the finisher. Times 14s. And a cascade. 18.2 mil on turn one. That is that is about what I hit in my testing. Um 18 mil? Turn one, bells and whistles at six-star bronze. That will keep down a large majority of six-star silvers. Um, again, my sherry is not maxed out. So if you have sherry at 34k, that's only going to get higher. And I'm only using a 30%. Maybe you have 100% gem damage laying around for a female striker. Might I suggest Stephanie McMahon? Um, even without going up against a trickster that build is uh, quite strong but let me know what you think in the comments of this video again we have stephanie and we have striker rhea ripley who also got an upgrade i'm curious to hear what you guys think about that head to head who do you think benefited the most they're both trickster hardcore moves well not trickster hardcore i mean rhea's is a reversal for trap gems steph is a hardcore for tricksters um, very curious to hear what the community thinks about who won the battle or did we win the battle because we finally got upgrades to the female strikers that are more readily available outside of Sherry, Roxanne, maybe Shayna. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up in the Discord server or on the, uh, in the comments of this YouTube video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching and thank you for being a friend.